Hello guys welcome back to another exciting blend tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a beginner's way of attaching cloth to animated character. Then give it cloth simulation. Here I will show you some of the basic settings, like adding the keyframe to the shrinking and fixing this deformation of the cloth and removing some of the path from the cloth. So to begin, I have my character and I use Mixamo2 for this character rigging. So if you don't know how to do that, please check the link in the description below. I have leave a tutorial that you can check and see how you can properly export character from Blender to Mixamo. So here are I have to let it direct and go to pose mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is since this animation is loop and it ends on frame 30. I'm going to select all my rig with a and select all your keyframe on a timeline and shift D to duplicate your keys. And here I'm going to place the first key on frame 30. And shift D again. I'm going to make this one loop for three times. And now you can see. Let me play the animation. Now you can see it's looping perfect. So I'm going to move this keyframe to here. Because the cloth simulation. I wanted to just start from frame 30. I'm going so I'm going to put this on frame 35. And frame 1 I'm going to press Alt plus G and Alt plus S. X and reset all the transformation I. And then insert key on location rotation and skill. Now let's go to frame 15. And I'm going to reset and reset key again. So now from from 1 to 15 it will remain on T pose. We can get from 15 to 35. And it will blend to the frame 35 key. Now we have done with the rigging. Now let go to the cloth simulation part. And for the cloth I'm going to put it on the character. So yeah make sure it's aligned to the character. So if you see some of the body is passing through the cloth, just select it to the cloth and go to sculpt mode. And use G to grab to make it fit the body with. So here I will leave this one for sure. And my next thing I'm going to do is. Let's go to physics property and add cloth. Okay, so add cloth and let's play the animation and see. Now you can see the cloth has start falling down. Because there's no collision for the cloth to collide it. So I want to sell the character body and add collision. After that let preview the animation. Now you can see when the animation begin from from 30 ongoing the cloth has started. Moving with the character as you can see here. Now our problem is the hand is passing through the cloth. Can see that the deformation of jiggling the cloth here. So I'm going to show you this setting to use for the cloth first. So select the cloth. Let's go to a the cloth property here. Let's set the quality is 10 for now. And this one I will leave the default settings. And let's go to here and I'm going to insert key for the shrinking on frame with zero value. Then add another one on frame 10. Then make the value one on frame 30. And then next thing I'm going to do is select this character for the body that is doing the collision. And let's go to where you have our body. This is going to be called the original body. And I'm going to duplicate the original body with Shift D. So I have duplicate the original body. And this is body for collision. For this is going to do the actual collision. The body for coalition. 
the original body. I'm going to remove the collision from it, and then select the body for collision. So let me hide the body for the original body. And this is the body for collision. So let's go to edit mode. Go to wireframe, use B for box select, then select some of the part like the hand that are passing through the cloth and the other part that is not colliding with the cloth, then press X to delete them. So now you can see. That part is not going to be do any collision. So let's hit play and check what our animation is going to do. Now you can see there's no anything happened to our cloth so let's bring the body back and let's go here. And now you can see everything is working as expected. So yeah, you can keep on adding most, some of the animation to it. So make sure from frame 1 to 35, you make your character look constant. And from 15 to here, it will start blending to the animation. So let's go to file. I'm going to import a sum of the animation. So this will run. I'm going to copy this one animation to it. So I use Mizamo so I can add multiple animation to it. So select copy. You can't copy and then I can paste it to this rig. So here I can paste it here and I can see from here. It will start blending to that one. And I'm going to import another run animation. And now when you select the cloth and let me set this one to 20. And for collision here. You can add surf collision to it. After that go your catches. And I'm going to bake all the dynamics. So bake all dynamics. And let's wait for it to calculate for the cloth simulation. So now the cloth simulation has finished baking. Let's play and see our results. Now you can see this is looking better. You can continue twerking some of the values in the cloth simulation tab till you get better results. So yeah, you can add subdivision modifier to it. So that the cloth will look smooth. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment. See you in next video.